hello guys and welcome back to another video but if you are new here hi darling welcome my name is lillian and if you have not subscribed to my channel come on what are you waiting for go on ahead hit the subscription button turn on the bell notification so that anytime i make a post upload a video go live youtube will notify you what i want to talk about today is a topic that no one is talking about could it be entitlement mentality that have made people to forget the good side of people that makes them focus more a side that don't come appealing to them enough or a side that is not to their advantage or what because it's kind of baffling that we do not talk about the kind nature of Ghanaians to, towards Nigerians. I, as a Ghanaian, living in <laughs> Ghanaian, since when? Because I, as a Nigerian living in Ghana, I have encountered like the no, the amount of kindness that have been shown to me in this country but what really inspired me to want to talk about this is because of a video that i watched on be fair space be fair space is a nigerian youtuber based in ghana she interviewed a nigerian youth based in ghana who is really making nigerians proud that guy is in Accra, ghana and he's doing amazing but of all the things this guy said in that video what really drew my attention was how open he was about the kindness of Ghanaians towards him. Someone like me that came to Ghana with absolute nothing but just a total sum of 50 US dollars. So like how did I get here? Because I don't think I have made the amount of money to give me the life that I'm living today if not for the kindness of Ghanaians. And why is it that nobody is talking about it? So this young man has really inspired me because a lot of people due to pride or whatever, or they're trying to avoid jealousy because you know, in Africa, we always tell people don't share the good news because bad eyes will see it. But for that guy to share the good, uh, the good news, I mean, I also want to share, but first I want to go back to that video and you guys will take a look at this video and I will be back to give my own by yes, unapologetic opinion as always. This is like, how much can you make? The, the role models you have in our neighborhood, you're not really doing well, so I did that year. The marketing manager, Mr. Kunado at the time, gave me the space. I spoke to him. I'm like I'm a, I'm a student, I'm struggling, I'm an artist as well. I would like to probably use your space to display some of my work of art. And he's like, oh, fine. I'll give you three days for free. Yes. Find your way around and then when you find your feet, then you can start paying for the wow. work that I got was that the space, they're like, giving it to me for free. It was, it was, it was surprising. Like, I, 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 I thought I thought it was a joke. Space for, free. space for free, yeah. So I was here for free for six months wow and then six months was what i was, was more than enough for me to find my your feet feet. Up, and, uh, so it has been a beautiful like, and this is like shocking. journey yes. yes yes for free how has it been since then? oh yes it's been you know it's been it's been, it's been cool i'll see you at least my life is much better now meanwhile if you have not liked this video go on and hit the like button feel free to share and of course, if you have not subscribed, like I said before, kindly hit the subscription button. Your stay in Ghana, what about your experience there? Your people there, the friends you meet there, they are Ghanaians? Yes. Can you tell me a little bit about their character? Oh. They are all nice people. Even while I am back here in Nigeria, I still chat with them i still call them i still talk to them they still send me some money they still send me gifts anything i want if i call them oh sis i want this they will buy it and they are ghanaians yes, not nigerians no 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 ghanaians they will just buy it give it to driver and they will call me auntie morin I've sent it to this driver. So when he comes, he'll pick it up. And 
that is how it is. They are still nice to me. Even while I am there, my landlord, perfect. My church that I have used to attend, St. Barnabas Catholic Church, Hachu. They are still the best up to today. And I still have them in my chat. We still have WhatsApp chat. You see? So they are nice people. They never allow me to lack. So you are saying mm. that as a Nigerian, who is in Nigeria? Ghanaians are still doing the needful. Yes. As if they are related to you. Yes. And they are, I call them my second home. And they send you gifts. Family. Yes. And they send you gifts. Yes. If I go, to, if I travel to Ghana now, this one will come. And tomorrow, no. ah, you are coming over to my place. This one will come. Frida will come. And tomorrow, no, no, no. You are coming over to my place. Like you see in the video, he talked about how a Ghanaian man gave him a whole space at one of the malls in Accra, Ghana. I want to believe that if you are a business owner in Ghana, you own a shop <laughs> at the mall. Precisely, this one is at Where's He Mall. So it's not like an existing mall. I'm not talking about an imaginary mall. I'm talking about a mall that exists and precisely Where's Hill Mall. Do you know that Ghanaians are kind to Nigerians? <laughs> yes she has started again see this is not some made-up story for the views of, as i've always been accused see me being accused of something will not stop me from being myself because that is the aim of everyone accusing me you are praising ghana you are hyping ghana just to silence me then allow the bad news news that don't even exist news that are made by people who cannot high beat with other people without trying their best to make it look like there is a problem even when there is no problem so this guy talked about how he was giving a, a whole space at the mall for him to start functioning because so for him to paint and by the time he can afford it he can start paying i mean like seriously let's talk about this because we don't talk about this this morning alone i have seen two videos that left me feeling chilled and one of such video is just by some people i stumbled on i think maybe i'll play some clips from this video i mean i'll play a few few clips from these videos and later in the video i'm going to play those clips because of course in this video good news first because i I feel like we don't talk about the kindness of Ghanaians to us Nigerians, especially those of us living here. Like this house I'm living in, this apartment, even though I'm not having it smooth. The day I came to rent this place, when my agent told me about her, the amount that I was supposed to pay for here is quite high. When I came here, the owner of the house was here. So I said, okay, I like this apartment, but the money is too much. Now, let me try my best to talk to this man if you will agree to reduce the price for me. And I went to him. I said, sir, please, I like the apartment, but the money is much. I can't afford it. I'm a single mother and I'm a foreigner here. Oh, he was like, really? All right, fine. How much can you afford? The price I was told is around 800 cities. So, and then he now asked me, how much can you pay? And I said, sir, I can do 650. And he said, okay, go on ahead. And you can take it. You can pay that. Like, I was like, okay. And yeah, that was it. Even though I'm not having it that smooth here, which is not the man's fault is the fault of how you know other people that i'm living with you know because there must be this something about some people that can't live normal yeah so by the time he asked me how much i can afford and i told him and he collected that money from me just like that and here i am wondering when i came to ghana i actually got to accra ghana with the sum of 50 us dollars and a youtube channel that is already monetized and the little i have gotten on youtube was made in ghana 
three days after arriving Accra, i got a miss no not a message i saw um so someone followed me and that name is a Ghanaian name he followed me on instagram the same name followed me on facebook so i now send the person a friend request because i have seen a Ghanaian name i'm like okay yeah it can only come from youtube so yeah every Ghanaian is my family yes so because i can tell where they are coming from so i followed the person back on instagram truth be told i was not expecting anything not even a message from the person but i was surprised that this person sent me a message on facebook and the message reads i have been trying to reach you because i want to support your channel thank you for loving and enjoying your stay in Ghana and welcome back to my country. For your information, I used to live in Nigeria as a young Ghanaian guy. I lived in Nigeria for a very long time and the Yoruba people were absolutely good to me. The Yoruba people were super kind to me. In fact, could you believe that during the Ghana Moscow era, I was in Nigeria, the police did not arrest me because my yoruba neighbors all took me and hit me and told me what to say in case the police lay hand on me Just in case the nigerian police locates me when they are not there they told me what to say that will make them to be convinced that i'm not a foreigner and that i'm actually from this state he mentioned a state in Nigeria and guess what? It was not Lagos, though one of the states in the western part of Nigeria. His Yoruba neighbors protected and made sure that he goes nowhere. And I believe strongly it's because of his good behavior. Yoruba, you see Yoruba land in Nigeria. If you have manners, if you know how to use your manner of approach very well, you will never have issues with a Yoruba person. They will love and protect you like their own. They don't want arrogancy. That is what Yoruba people hate. They have their issues. But in this video, I'm talking about the positive side of everyone and everything I know. So, because in this video, I'm focusing on the good news. The good side of people and something that people hate to talk about. So, he was living with them conveniently until he got a job. Again, the company he was working with in Nigeria came up with a lot of promotions that helped him he benefited from it and due to that he was able to make his way to sort of out of africa to the west and up to date he does not forget the kindness of nigerians towards him so when he sees a nigerian he goes all the way out to make sure they are satisfied especially nigerians in his country ghana and you may want to think that, okay, he just said that and that was all. No, immediately, this person sent me money. And in my usual manner, because I like to appreciate, because why? I do not expect anything from anyone. So if anything comes, I will thank the person or fight the person. I believe by now you know me. <laughs> so, because of course, it's positive. I was so grateful and he told me to not worry continue to live in ghana happily and make sure you are okay happy feel at home make sure you live within your means in ghana just be okay here and guess what the person did after some time this same person went on to gift me this equipment i'm filming with right now yes this camera you are watching me from i did not pay for it with my money it was a ghanaian that have never met me before a Ghanaian doing all of that for me because i am a nigerian so here i am wondering is it that people are shy like because you know why i'm doing this video is like i said this guy inspired me to talk and if i just on my own speak it would be like okay again this girl is looking for views she's praising Ghanaians. she's doing this because i am not supposed to do that i am supposed to sit down and insult people insult Ghanaians to make me a patriotic Nigerian but why is it that the good side of people is usually ignored more than the bad side of people 
because i don't get it like today i watched a video where this young man is saying that and is saying that in ghana when you walk into a shop and you want to buy something the moment they realize you are not a Ghanaian, they will not they will they will not like you they will hate you now let me play some clips from this video and i'll be back they love themselves they love themselves they love their own country they love themselves and if you if you come to ghana and you're not Ghanaian, you don't speak Ghana, you don't speak the three their countries. They don't have much love for you, but if you're Ghanaian, they love you more. Tree, is it the only language they have or how? Mm, tree is their major language, a major language they speak there. Okay, but they have other languages there? Yeah, I think they have other smaller languages. Okay. Just like you coming to you coming to Igbo land, Igbos are known with Igbo. In Ghana, in Ghana. No, you say you come into Nigeria, you, you meet with people that speak Igbo, Aosa, and Yoruba. Mm -hmm. There are also tr smaller, smaller tribes. Tri I mean. And if you, if you do not respond in that language, they will know that this person is not from Ghana. Wow. And if you are not from Ghana, from my own experience, the love they have for you will drop. They will, not, they will not be kind of, they will not be, they will be looking at you somehow. Once they see a Nigerian, they won't like you. I'm you telling you, me? they will not like you. You got to a point that our product then, I want to, I want to market, it was... Uh, there, there are so many Nigerians over there. They are, they are doing business. They are, they are, they are, and let me if, tell you... If the hatred is that much, why, why, why are they still there? <laughs> they, they are there for the money. And those there, those there, they are paying higher taxes mm. in the Ghana. Okay, that, that means don't just say Nigerians, maybe as a foreigner in their country. So far you are not from that country. Is there any country that you, you are coming from, you are treated as a foreigner? They are, but what, the issue that Nigerians are, are, are more there. Mm -hmm. Go to their business, they are spare parts business. Nigerians are there. And they pay, they pay more tax. From my water, because they pay more tax. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. Wow, wow, wow. So, well, it's a lovely country anyway. Okay. But I can't. Mm -mm. Once you speak English, mm. and I found that you, know, you are not from Ghana, forget it. You will be like you somehow. That's what I noticed. Wow. So, but for someone like me, I, as a family person, I don't think I will think of moving to Ghana. Because, why? Why? Because Ghanas, Ghanaians, once they see a Nigerian, they won't like you. And let me if, tell you, if the hatred is that much, why, why, why are they still there? <laughs> they, they are there for the money. And those there, those there, they are paying higher taxes. That throughout this person's stay in Ghana, he was he never encountered kindness or what? Why was it all about the hard part? The reason for that could be that people have too much expectations and when you have so much expectations about people or something, you will never enjoy your life with that person or that thing because you have expected too much. No matter what they do for you, you are always going to be picky about it and like i see people talking about hatred all the time Ghanaians hate me i will never understand it because i live in ghana and i'm wondering how see during the christmas week of 2023 i had a rough year 2023 was a very rough year for me towards the end of the year i decided to give my kids and myself a treat and you know then i have not started going back to the gym so i look at all these mineral these soft drinks all this carbonated soft drink like coke and the rest all this you know, looking at them to be a treat for myself and my kids so i went on to get a whole carton of it at first when i went to that man he's kind of you know withdrawn because he already had my already from my accent he could he knows that i'm not a Ghanaian and he know i am a wahala republic person he was calm with me but guess what like i continue to how do you talk to people that makes them to treat you bad it's still a mystery for me up to date now apart from the fact that the customer service in ghana especially the local customer service is generally poor apart from that 
I cannot any day tell you that, okay, these people are hating on me or this person is hating on me because I'm a Nigerian. I can't relate. I can't, I can't relate. The only, the only time I felt that way was certainly on YouTube. And when I brought it here, like they almost eat these people alive. Like Ghanaians almost skin them alive. Like some of these videos where I feel like out of the many YouTubers in Ghana, you know, the ones that wanted to create content complaining about Nigerians in Ghana. And I decided, I decided to react to that video, which I later felt bad because I felt like this guy have gone through so much. Went through a lot in the hands of his people. Like, ah, if I knew this is how Ghanaians were going to act, I would not have complained about this guy because they were not nice to him at all. They like... I received so many calls that day, the whole week. People were calling me from Jerusalem, Malta, uh, different countries, Dubai, US, Canada. These different Ghanaians were calling me, telling me not to be afraid and that I should live comfortably and be free to do my thing. So here I am wondering, how again are people, uh, this, uh, how again are Ghanaians supposed to behave for us Nigerians to be happy because I realized that in Canada most of our Nigerian youtubers that are in Canada they have a lot of good things to say about Canadians and nobody complains even their fellow Nigerians who applause for them they have a lot of good things to say about Canadians that these people are friendly nobody is angry but when you say your next african country is good to you people will just have it rough like especially nigerians will just be very mad at you like why will you say that when you say that you are placing that country above your own according to their english so for me to lower these countries to make them below my own country i am supposed to sit down and lie i'm supposed to blame them for my own bad attitude first i want to really appreciate the yoruba culture because they have been the one that molded me to be like this where i'm respectful see i come from a part of nigeria that is very simple but you see that culture of respect you bow down when you are greeting an elder you you portrait you that culture of portraying when you greet an elder the culture of calling an elderly person that is not your biological mother mommy when you know that yes this person is like your mother's age mate and you just call the person mommy daddy sa ma you know everybody likes respect even the white skinned people they like respect so i've come to realize that when you do that no matter where you go when people see that you are mannered you have good manners they will have no choice but to be nice to you i think my living in ghana and enjoying living in ghana i want to in fact i just want to thank the yoruba people the way they raised me because as a young nigerian kid when i left my village i was living with the rich and mighty families in lagos nigeria the yoruba people in nigeria and they were very nice to me and they were super kind and they taught me so many things that i don't think i would have learned in my own village yeah in my village i would have learned things like not stealing other people's things not speaking low of other people not trying to downgrade other people not not trying to condescend other people with my attitude not living with a yoba family had really been you know that thing that shaped my life and helped me to gain favors from people such as when someone gifts me a gift when someone gifts me a gift or cash or anything that culture of me the following day going back to say thank you ma thank you sir i learned it there in the with the yoruba people i learned it there and i have you see that culture when you like it's just so amazing do you understand so why are we not talking about the kind nature of our host country it's always the bad thing the bad things fine some people are too proud to share that with people because they feel like once you say someone gives you a gift everybody will say oh okay so you are now surviving on other people because accepting gifts from people is a shameful thing while 
trying to trick other people and scam them of their hard-earned monies is a good thing yeah i think is it has to do with that societal imbalance i don't know what to call it like you know where where things are done the opposite side because see normally it's supposed to be an honorable thing for someone to give you something than for you to steal it when you steal it actually comfortably brag about it and it's cool everyone will believe oh you got it through your smartness but when someone gifts you something and you admit that someone gives you okay this is why you like this people it is not because they are good it is because you like it i think that's why so why don't we just look at the good side of people because i saw this other video the other day video the other day where this woman is saying nigerians are very kind to Ghanaians. they give Ghanaians money money they give Ghanaians gift they do this i mean like i mean Ghanaians gives nigerians so much especially nigerians in ghana apart from them engaging with our contents trying to know what we are saying, wanting to, you know, be there for us. Financially like this, income money, they give us money. Yeah, a lot of people will never come out to admit that because um, we come from a society where when you appreciate, it means you are low. When you appreciate something that is given to you genuinely from the hearts of people, it means you are low. But when you can scam someone to own that thing, to get that thing, everyone will applaud you so i think that is it but i'm so glad that john is out there he made a video he talked about how generous his Ghanaian, um a Ghanaian man who gave him the space is to him and right now he can start paying because he is time making money and now he can comfortably pay for the space but the other period he was using it was for free now that he has started making money he has started paying for his rent seriously i think we are not talking about a lot of things i know a lot of nigerians that have benefited from Ghanaians, but they would rather die than let the world hear that and then tomorrow you come and sit down and see a video like this eh, eh, even if i say all these things you see Ghanaians, they will still give them the people that are sitting down criticizing they say give them Ghanaians are kind-hearted about it and it's just like wow why are we always focusing on the bad bad on the things that we like it means you have an expectation where you just want people to do what you want and if they don't do it you will start to cry anyways for me i have enjoyed the kindness of Ghanaians, and i'm still still basking in it and i know a lot of nigerians that have benefited from the kindness of Ghanaians. so if you are a nigerian out there and you're doing good for Ghanaians, keep doing it because they are doing for us yeah i know i'm not from your tribe okay or do for them because some people from your tribe too they are benefiting i hope that you enjoyed this video and that i will see you in my next one bye